America's had no shortage of high-profile first ladies, and the role may be a bit of a balancing act. Her popularity can reflect on the president, even though she is not in office. The role of the first lady is actually sort of a difficult one in American politics. It's not in the Constitution. They don't have any particular responsibilities. Professor Michelle Swers says the position has changed with larger societal shifts in the last 50 years. It's sort of tied up in the women's rights movement and how that's evolved and women going into the workforce. Many Americans have come to expect the president's wife to be more than the nation's top hostess. She should tackle an issue, too. Americans would have difficulty with that right now if a, if a first lady decides she didn't want to use her time and her privilege, her temporary custodianship of a very privileged position if she didn't want to use it in some way. Anita McBride was Laura Bush's chief of staff and says Eleanor Roosevelt raised the bar for advocacy work. And since, Jackie Kennedy promoted the arts. Betty Ford spoke out about breast cancer. Nancy Reagan championed an anti-drug campaign. And Michelle Obama is pushing childhood health and nutrition. Swerz says first ladies do best when also viewed as head of the first family. First ladies have been more popular when they're seen more as the mother-in-chief than when they're seen as having an active policy role. So Barbara Bush was very popular, seen as more of a, a mother-in-chief type, and Laura Bush somewhat in that way as well. But there is a fine line between projects and policy. There was a backlash against Hillary Clinton when she tried to reform health care. Hillary Clinton was least popular when she was seen as more of having a policy role because she was unelected, an unelected policymaker. The line was crossed when the meetings that were held were closed-door meetings. It was not transparent. It, um, it caused her angst. McBride says each first lady must navigate the role in her own way to leave her own mark on it. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.